All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. significant title in combat sports, no argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Magic Man. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 211 pounds. Fighting out of New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight, they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about the many takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, head kick landed. It's hurt. Beautiful punch. Just misses there with the left. Oh, huge block. Oh, he 
you got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is the technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Left hand points in the clinch. Big kick. Oh, that right hand is on point. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl, DC. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Watch the shot to the body. Big leg kick land. Oh, an educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet that when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick land. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. And there's a takedown attempt there. DC, I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, young man. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Try to establish that jab. He is all about that left kick to the body. Connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Landed that left hook. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Both fighters throwing heat now. Big, 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 big. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, a huge block there. Oh. He's got him right here. Just misses with the right. Big punch lands over the top. I'm going to follow this one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Not it doesn't. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Big punch land to the middle. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big head and kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. Misses with that punch. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. First round winding down here. Oh, that's a nice strike. Round two straight ahead. Let us now check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and how about that flying knee? I mean, who does that? Who jumps off the ground and throws a knee? Who propels himself to throw a flying knee? I would never. Right. It's too dangerous. Risk versus reward. You try anything out there. But I guess that's why it's a video. I'd probably pull a muscle or something. <laughs> <laughs> round two is underway. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lands with the right hand. Oh, buck 
angled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Caught that kick there. Knee to the body is thrust. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie now. And they separate. He did so there, and they set There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, brutal leg kicks to that lead leg. Those are going to start to add up. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying active. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Goes back to that left kick once again. Nice punch, land. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. He blocks the punch. Man, does oh. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Three minutes to go. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with that right hook. Yet again, they will clinch here. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at him flip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? That punch, no good. Back and forth we go. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Huge block there. The next with a right. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done, more often than not. John, don't you come with me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big kick land. See, it didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the left leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges to score. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands. Boom. Nice head kick. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier fight, the better. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action 
when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. And relax. You look to finish this one. Put the pressure on this guy. All right, next round is underway. And how about the head movement and the slips? Really a beautiful defensive effort to watch in that previous round. It looked as if he was training in his boxing rig with the two ropes spread across. There's a the jump rope on one end, going to the other end of the box, and another one they can exit the X in the middle, and you're just working on your head movement. His ability to see everything reminds me of a guy that's learning to do that drill. Nice move to punch. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Ooh, looking to set up that head kick. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Back and forth we go. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Boy, Todd Klump. Nice leg kick. Checks the leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. He lands the head kick. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's thrown right from the chin, too. Nice leg kick lands. How good is that right here? Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Leg kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Another shot lands upstairs. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. Leg kick rounds his opponent, tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Lands a big elbow there. Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Nice sneaky head kick. And they set. Oh, left hook to the head. It's blocked. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Big kick lands. Oh, roundhouse kick, DC. 
That was a beautiful strike, and that is the most powerful kick that you can land in a fight. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round. It really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you got to like the output here down the stretch. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round to fight. You're so used to fighting up to three. you got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire. can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Able to check that kick as well. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Jab now, no good. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, can't put any weight on it. Watch that strike. Stuff to take down, no problem. Just over three minutes to go. tie here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, big head kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Beautiful strike. Leg kick land. Right hook to the head block. Throws the right hand there. Two minutes now to go. There he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down for more. He knew the one wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting them to slow down and fight at your pace. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, what a lead left. Nice head kick. Oh, well, you can't enter the pocket there. On this might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. that one. 
one. Big leg kick. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Now connects with a right. All right, working inside the closed guard now. 15 seconds. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Big kick land. for the end of round four. All right, so big round four in there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman, just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Superman punch lands! All right, single collar tie now. Oh, big knee! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he got him. He got him. All right, he's sort of hanging out here on guard at DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Nice straight punch. Big body kick. Oh, Superman punch. Oh! He tasted the knockout line! He tasted the knockout line! Oh! Woo! What a fight! Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, nine seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. baddest man on the planet and that is exactly the way he goes out congratulations to the undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of the world your winner tonight by way of the ko and that's a big man celebrating with his team right now enjoy it boys you maximize the moment tonight